Welcome, David Weiser, <laughs> Bolton you. Wanderers captain. Cheers, thank you. Um, so, David, the podcast today, we're going to talk about um, your career in football, and uh, we'll touch on Bolton Wanderers, and right. perhaps mention a bit about wrestling. Perfect. <laughs> but first of all, to get you eased into it, we do a quick fire round. We do this with everybody. Right, okay. So I'm going to say this or this, and you've just got to give your answer, no thinking. Right. Um, it's good to get me in trouble. There's nothing oh, really bad. Isn't there? That's no. all right. Well, maybe one of them. <laughs> Apprenticeship or university? Um, university. Fans or teammates? For what? Football. Teammate. Ken Anderson or Satan? <laughs> I still haven't got me money. No, no, Ken's not involved anymore, Satan. <laughs> money or fame? Money. Promotion from uh, from League One or survival in the Championship? Oh, that's a tough one, you know. I think survival. Brexit or remain? I don't have a clue. <laughs> okay. Penalty or golden goal? Golden goal. Night in or night eight? Uh, yeah. With who? <laughs> well, anyone. <laughs> I don't know, night out's good, innit? But uh, I'll say night in. In case your wife hears it. <laughs> <laughs> Tattoos or piercing? Tattoos. Bolton or Middlesbrough? Oh, that's a tough one, isn't it? <laughs> Great, it's Bolton, fair Bolton. I was going to say, I remember <laughs> where you are. Yeah, remember where you sat, who yeah. you were. <laughs> well done, you passed. No, 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 you passed there with flying colours. I can't believe you chose Satan over Ken Anderson. <laughs> you, you, you must not know him. <laughs> hey, the night out one, that was a tough one. Yeah, but is it really a night out though? Yeah, it's a good night out. It's a good fun, aren't it? Yeah, so we were talking about this a little bit before a podcast. Um, I was wondering, with footballers, do you actually get much opportunity to celebrate the glory when you've had like a good game, or obviously when we get promoted, <coughs> or we don't get promoted? Not, not really in these. In like, when you get out of the Premiership, there's more teams in the league, so you're normally playing on Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, so you don't really have time to go out. But. Uh, Obviously, when you when you do, the lads like they don't mind a drink. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, but it's good night. I was saying to you, it's just when the fans are brilliant with me, but you always get like one or two that'll tweet something that you, that you're out and you you, you, just, you don't want it. <laughs> out <of their laughs> Please head, stop doing that. You're out and that, but no, they're, they're normally brilliant with do me. You get so. done off the club though. Not really, because we we go out when we can. Like let's say when we play, if we get have a Tuesday game, we won't go out. So they don't really, they're not really bothered if we go out on a Saturday if, until unless we play on the next Saturday. So you got a week, week to get over it. So they're they're all right, really. I mean, I'm 32 now, so yeah. <laughs> you know, they tell me I can't. Do <laughs> so you grind it. Yeah. Does it affect your performance though? Like if you had a night out and then you played again three days after, because I mean I get angovers for a good oh, sort of three days. Now, yeah. but, yeah. Didn't used to when we were young though, did we? Uh, I mean, no. Even even training on the Monday. If we don't have a game on the Tuesday, we'll train on the Monday, and you can you can still feel you you start running. You, I wish I, I wish I didn't go out. Actually. I wish I didn't have all of them yeah, sambukas. I know, yeah. It's fun when you're out, but it's just oh, the hangover, isn't it? It's, it's the recovery, yeah. It's horrible. And I yeah. guess when you're a professional athlete as well, then it's not like just going like me. I just sit behind a desk and die for a week. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I know, that's what I want to do. Some some, some days, like um, me, Mrs. Obviously, we've got the kids and that. Me, Mrs. Come on, we're going out. I, said, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> she said, self-inflicted. That's what I always hear, but yeah. No, no, no fuck that. I'm staying there. Yeah, chilling, I don't, don't really go out that much with the kids now because the hangover it's just not worth it with the kids yeah no because they sure can't they, they just don't have a day after that I'm sure they know they know <laughs> when you've got hangover <laughs> they do, uh, yeah, they, do I'm just saying, they know this as well this is what my son does and it drives me potter the phone will ring I'll be on the phone and he doesn't speak to me he does not speak to me all night and as soon as like the window cleaner comes around mm. or I'm on the phone he's like mum 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 and yeah. he's got a million and one questions for me I'm like what yeah, is wrong really with these children they sense it I am not now going to give you any attention mm. And so then I'll jump in on your head in, in bed. Wake up a little, that little bit early and then start jumping on you. <laughs> yeah, a on a bit. Sunday morning. No, I wouldn't change it though. So let's talk about your, your career and your start off um, in football. Mm -hmm. Was there ever any other option for you? Was you like, oh, do you know what? Actually, I'm really good at maths. I might be a well, no, that physician. Wasn't a, that wasn't an option. No. <laughs> Actually, I was in, in primary school. I was, uh, I was really good at school. It's just when I got into secondary school, I, I met like, more friends and more sports, I sort of like give up school work and stuff. Was you naughty yeah. then in school? I wasn't naughty, none of the teachers said I was naughty, I was just the class clown, I always got told. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, no, nah, it was all, from seven I think I started playing football, it was, that was all I wanted to do really. 
So you've been lucky then that you can follow that on because there's loads of people who are like, this is it, I'm only going to be a footballer mm -hmm. and basically live that life exactly how you describe and then they'll get an injury or they're not yeah. quite tall enough or something else. Well, even when the teachers ask me, they say, what do you want to do with your career? I say, well, I want to be a footballer and some of them like said, no, but really what, what do you want to be? Because you, you won't be a footballer. Mm. I said, no. But I mean, yeah, it's an amazing achievement though. Not no. everybody gets to, to think, live the dream like yeah. that of being a footballer. And I'm sure like most of the kids at school, I used to want to be a footballer. Like there weren't even a women's league, I don't think, when mm. I was a kid. I used to play for the boys yeah. teams. Like, so, you know, they're going to say to you like, oh, you need something for a ball back. And was there a yeah. ball back plan? No, not really. I wish I wish there was now, obviously, coming, I've only got a few, a few years left really, but I still had my coaching badges recently, but I didn't, I didn't really enjoy it. It was a bit, it was a bit tough for me to, to go from playing to telling the lads what to do, so that was yeah. a bit hard. But I'm gonna have to start really doing something. Now. I might have to go back to university and do something. Oh, really? Is yeah, that what you're thinking about? Because my missus says I have no motivation. Like <laughs> when we're off, I'll just get the kids to school and then I'll go back to bed for a few hours and that. So she said I need I need something to do. Yeah, but if you that's it at the minute, you've still got your football though. Yeah, so exactly. you know, like, oh, you're still going if you mm. age well. I mean, but like you, you've still got your career there as yeah. part of as part of Bolton Wanderers, aren't you? So you yeah, don't really need yeah. to worry about it. But then, um, yeah, afterwards. So, so I mean, what did did you do well in your GCSEs? Did mm -hmm. you just finish at GCSE no, level? I, I didn't even do well in my PE GCSE because we had to do <laughs> better do the theory side as well. So. Oh no! So no, I think the D was the highest I got. Really? Honest, yeah. So then, how old was you when you started playing professional football? Uh, professional. It's like when you leave school, you'll sign professional forms for like sixteen. And that's when you go in every day. I was at, I was, at, I was at Middlesbrough till twenty three when I came here. So yes, every day from sixteen. And then, and then, um, how did you do at Middlesbrough? Uh, what I made you move from Middlesbrough to Bolton as well? It was just uh, Middlesbrough in the Championship then, and Bolton were, I think, it was seventh in the in the Premier League. <laughs> I know that sounds good on me, doesn't it? When I came, but uh, no, it, was, <laughs> it all went to it, yeah. No, it was, it, was, it was a fantastic opportunity for me to come to come to a Premier League team, and it was a big team then. Uh, Owen Coyle was the manager, and with some top class players, and it was just a, a cracking opportunity for me. And so, how do you feel about Bolton now and where we're at now? And that, because obviously you're a bit older now anyway, so the chances are you, there's not many people who are getting older who are still in the Premiership yeah. and whatnot. You do yeah, yeah. downgrade it, just luckily for you, Bolton have downgraded as yeah. you know, years have gone on. Maybe you was the one holding it together and as you got was, older, yeah. it's just yeah. gone like downhill. So what, um, what, oh, I forgot what I was saying, where was I then? I'll cut this bit out. What do I think about Bolton? Something oh yeah, like so that. yeah, so how do you feel about being at Bolton Wanderers now with with the position what we're in um, and yeah. the league that we're in? Are you like, oh, I'm ready to get off? Are you going to be staying? Well, the thing is, I might I might have to get off really, but uh, I don't I don't want to. I've, I'm, my family has settled here. I've been here obviously eight and a half years now, and I love the town. I love playing for for Bolton, but I mean, if things don't get sorted out soon, no one's going to want to sign here because of what's been going on. And uh, it's just it's just a tough time, but I think everyone loves playing for Bolton, and loves loves the area. Like all the old players seem to still live around here and that. So yeah. it's just a, a lovely place to be. I think so. I'm, I'm very happy. I here. think like the, it's the fans, are, the loyal, they've been through all mm. of the shit with Bolton yeah. and some glory days with Bolton mm. as well. And um, so I think that's what keeps the older players here, yeah, and keeps them yeah. loving the club and and get just the whole atmosphere around it and the town and like you said when you go away people are yeah, you know, yeah, people are always so lovely as well they're not going to give you an hard time no they're things. not where we go where we, everywhere we go for food they're just everyone's just brilliant now they? they're just there's lovely well maybe not you might not you <laughs> might not pick some people that aren't brilliant but everyone <laughs> yeah. everyone i've met they're, they're, I know a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> uh, I'd give you shit, no one. Uh -huh. um, and you, so then what's, I mean, what's been going on? Like, your wages, you've still not been paid now? Four uh, months. Four then. months, yeah, still waiting. It's, uh, I think some of the fans at the start, they were like, oh, the footballers can afford it, but we aren't at that pre premiership level wage now. But I mean, even if them Premier League players who are on 200 grand a week, if they didn't get a week's wages, they wouldn't be going in. Because be, obviously they'd be missing two hundred grand and that. Yeah, well, this is the thing. I mean, now your expenses are going to live up to what you used to your wage income. Yeah, well, that's it. So my my expenses now are much more expensive than when I 
starting my company when I was yeah, working so, for yeah. somebody else. So if I didn't get four months' wages, mm. I'd be knackered as well. Yeah. And so it doesn't matter how much it is, your outgoings are going to equate to your incomes yeah, as well, definitely. aren't they? And obviously, I've seen it before. I've, I've, I've played for like 14 years professionally, I've, and I've saved well, to be honest. My mum and dad made me save well. So these last four months have not been perfect, I mean, but we've, we've managed to get by. But I mean, some of the some of the young lads and even like the old lads that, probably, that maybe haven't saved well, they must be. Really, to oh, be honest. Yeah. And so what? And so what's happening with it? So we we know when we were speaking with John last week, we were saying um, football ventures was the ones who I signed the heads of terms, mm. um, but it hadn't been formally announced yet. Or yeah. they, they just signed those. Is that going to be progressing? Or? I think they're making deals with all the football creditors to pay. I think I think we're we we one. No, I think the managers. But then Ken Anderson's a creditor as well. So I think. I think they're still negotiating with him. I think he's the la- I think he's the last person, but I'm not sure. In Monaco. Oh, yeah. that man though. <laughs> I bet you just like me. Stop saying the owe some money I because know. we all want our money. Well, I've been getting told f- for months now it is, it'll be sorted. I mean, my mate, it's uh, Mark Isles from the Bolton News. I'll, I'll text him and ask him if he if he knows what's going on, and he'll tell me, and that'll happen. But then he said it should get sorted, and it just. It just it doesn't. It just hasn't been sorted for months. But the people come and up to are me. Are they keeping you in the loop? I like staying. No, nah, there's no one really to ask. That's. He's. I mean, I don't think the manager will know much. And there's no one. There's obviously there's no chairman at the club or anything to ask. So, I mean, he's the only person I, I could have asked to, to tell the lads, because he obviously he's, he knows, the more stuff about probably Fulham Wonders than anyone else. So. <laughs> I'd text him. I, th- I, th- I thought that was weird actually. The captain of the club asked to text the local newspaper. News, news, uh, not news agent, is he? Uh, <laughs> yeah. ju- journalist to. Oh, he might know as much anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. News agent's not. Journalist to, to find out about our own club, so it was just. It, it was my time. Oh my god. And so and so you still don't know? So you're still in limbo? No, yeah. So do, you, do you don't even know if you've got a contract again with them? I've, no, I've, my mind runs out on the 30th. What day are we on there? We got the 30th, yeah, yeah. 20, so I've got three three days left in my contract, so... <laughs> but that's the thing, if I wanted one now, I, I wouldn't know who to ask. Because I don't know if... Hopefully the manager's... I like the manager. I don't know if the fans do or not, but I hope he's in charge. I like him. Yeah, no, yeah. I think he's done a good... He, he's had no money. He's, he's done a cracking job, so... But this day is up against it, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't know if he's going to be the manager next year, so... Would you like him to be the manager next year? I would, yeah, because I think he likes me, so... <laughs> yeah. Right. Does he have the respect of the change of him, though? I think he does with the players, yeah, definitely. Because uh, stuff he's had, he's, he had to go through last year, I don't think many other managers would want to do that. But that's the thing, If even if he loses his job, who, what manager would want to come in and take over? Well, we were saying this. What um, What's your man called, do we were saying? John McKinley's John. name. What's he called? No, his name. Oh, Lee, Dave Lee. Dave Lee, yeah. Is he? Yeah, yeah. I think he wants it. I think. He? Well, I think he, John was saying like, oh, he would love to do it, and he was saying, oh, I think yeah. he'd be a good manager, and that. Do you know him? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, he's a good guy. He was. What is he? Our. He was our twenty threes manager, wasn't he? Last, yeah. Last yeah. few years, but. Uh, uh, yeah, he's a great guy. But that's what he's saying because now Bolton don't have any money, so they can't mm. be. Obviously, if they get a decent enough investment, they're going to have X amount, but. They, they're not going to have loads of money to dedicate on all these new players. Yeah. So with him knowing they're under 23s, he'll be able, they'll already have his, res- yeah. he, he's already got the respect of them. He can pull them through into... Mm. Oh, definitely, yeah. Well, that's the thing with me. I, I think obviously not many people are going to want to sign for the club, but I, I, I do. So I think that it goes well for me, but... Yeah, Why they, do you want to sign for Bolton again? After everything what's gone on and still yeah, what's know, yeah, going on? I'm mental. <laughs> yeah, I must be, must not I? No, I, I was saying, I, I love... Kids got school now in in Bolton, so I mean we're all settled and I, just, I don't I don't want to move to be honest. I, I love playing for Bolton. Yeah. And, and, uh, I must be mad, must I? Really, after all this has gone. Yeah, on, I don't still, think there's not I'm many still, people who. Yeah, and still not being fair, but I still want to play for them. But. And what about all the other players? Are there any others willing to sign again if they get the opportunity? Um, I don't know really. I think Bell's mate, uh, Josh Rella, He's a local lad, and he's. I think all the local lads just they just enjoy being around here. It's, I 
Is it like a sense of pride? Because it's like we're. I think it is. After yeah. all that's gone on, I think if we play next year and we do well, it'll just it'll be a playing brilliant. for the shirt. Yeah, it'll be a brilliant feeling, won't yeah. it? If we if we do well. This is what we were saying. It was like now Bolton isn't. Oh, or we haven't really ever been a, a club where you're getting people in China and that's sporting Bolton Wanderers. Mm. You know, like Man United getting yeah. all these. It is just a, a local club is, now. Yeah. Uh, although we've got like a really nice stadium, mm. but we're back to we're a local club, and I yeah. think we need to start off with those foundations again and strip it back. And if we just do well in this league, not even necessarily get the promotion, yeah. but if we can just do well in this league and Bolton fans stop feeling destroyed every, yeah. every time. I think and all this drama going on and yeah. chaos. Like it's, I mean, do you feel it on the pitch as well? Obviously, the fans are fuming. Like, so, for instance, you went on, is it called Strike that you go yeah, on? Yeah. And you refused to, to play the, yeah. that game. We thought that would get us some money, but it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work. No, I know, but we then... Got the, staff, the staff got paid after that, though. Because the staff, I don't think they'd been paid for, like, a, a two months. But when we went after that, the staff, all the staff got paid at the, at the ground, so... And then, what, I mean, th what was the backlash like from the fans? Because I've had a few, so we did some, like, old fan questions, and I wouldn't... <laughs> say them all but some fans are like it, it's so out of order like mm. we, you know, we're being punished as fans yeah. as a club because you didn't get paid I understand what you're saying like yeah. everybody needs the money to yeah. survive but do you feel a sense of responsibility or guilt or remorse towards the fans or? Um, no not to be honest because obviously we want to play for the fans we want to entertain them and that but I'm sure yeah, not getting paid four months it wouldn't happen in many other jobs would it that yeah. You'd still be going there, but um, but missing that game, it, we love playing the most. Like all the other, all the other stuff is not relevant to us. I mean, not 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 relevant. But we don't enjoy it as much as the football side. So that's the thing we enjoy most. And to not to not play, it was it was a hard choice for us. It wasn't one we just made easily. I mean, we got the group chat, and that's that's, that's tough enough cause anyway, because there's about twenty two lads. <laughs> Trying to make decisions and that. Oh so, yeah, it was, that was it. And what was the manager saying? Was he on board with this? Or is he like, no, he needs to play? Um, no, he, no he, he never said we have to do anything, to be honest. He, he, I think he trusted us what, what we thought was best. And I mean, that's what we thought was best at the time. And I think that was, we hadn't been paid for two months by, at that point. So it's, I mean, it's still gone on. Nothing's, nothing's changed really. And so, do you understand? Because, like, obviously, the fans' point of view here is like we pay X amount for mm. a season ticket or so much for each game, and it isn't your fault what yeah. Ken Anderson's done to the club. He's been taking all the money, and they're like, This is our money. A lot of yeah. these, a lot of people who come and watch Bolton, they don't have loads of money, mm. they might not even be able to afford a season ticket, yeah. so they can only bring the kids to a game here and there. And they're doing everything that they can support this local town, yeah. and then the owner has massively let them down, and then it was like, and now the players are giving up on us yeah. as well. Like no, we yeah we did. Uh, I hope they didn't think that because we definitely weren't. We just I see the, the the what was it? I think that's the best thing we could have done to make us it known that we weren't happy. Yeah. To miss like the most important game. But yeah, I do I do feel sorry for the fans because obviously they they paid the money and but I think now at, at the start they were, I think. They just wanted us to play, but now I speak to them now and they, they, they just say, oh, I feel so sorry for you and that. I think Yeah, maybe it did say, so long, at I the time, though, I think everybody was a bit like, what the fuck? But yeah. now it's still going on. Yeah. And the fact like you're still willing to stay around as well, I think people oh. are seeing like, oh my God, he's not had a wage for four months. Like, <laughs> what, would, what would anybody do? I know, yeah. I couldn't not have a wage for four months. Mm. You couldn't not have a wage for four months. Lucy like, well, actually, <laughs> I'm chilling at my mum's. Yeah. <laughs> just done four months. I was just about, done four I was months. Out, <laughs> yeah, so I think maybe people are uh, seeing it from your point of view. Yeah, I think they are now, well. definitely now but even like the message me on instagram there were probably 95 percent were from my side or the lad's side because i think they just hated ken anderson so much but yeah. uh, i think now it's like nearly 100 percent and what do you think about the potential to rebuild rebuild Bolton now can it can it be done i hope so yeah so i think some of the uh in the consortium the, the local people aren't they i think even one of the one of them have, have been paying like the staff the last last couple of months, so I think they've got the best, the club's best interest at heart, and like you say, we get get the get the young lads involved, and they're the ones that love the club the most. I think so. It's, it's going to be next season's going to be tough. Obviously, we're starting on minus fifteen, isn't it? So is it's, it minus fifteen? I think so. Yeah. It, so it's going to be a tough one. So promotions. 
that might be it might be out the equation next year, but uh, just want to stay in League One at this yeah, point. Yeah, next year, next year. <laughs> but we'll give it give it our best shot and hope we can kick on from there. Are we? I mean, as it stands, though, we don't even have a team. Well, we don't. I We've think got it's you, like. Who's well, the other one? It's not even me, is it? I'm, I'm, I'm not the, As it stands, I'm not there next year. I think there's only five five or six players. The first team players, but I mean, two of them are keepers as well, so. Oh, my God. Even some of the young lads are leaving as well. Well, 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 I mean, they can't. It's like, oh, this is the first club they're playing at, and then they've not been paid for four months. Yeah. So it's going to leave a bit of taste. I think, was a, I think there was a young lad, 18, I think he was 18, but he had a, ki- he had a kid and he couldn't get in the train because he, he couldn't pay his train for to get in the train, so he, he wasn't coming in the train. Oh, my God. Yeah. And they don't. I, can't, I just don't know how that man can live for himself. Because he's in Monaco. He's a complete oh, yeah, prick, he'll, isn't he'll be fine. He's he, okay. he won't be bothered. No. So, Alan, do, 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 so you don't have any idea when this is going to be resolved and when it's finally going to be signed? I think, yeah, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. But like I said, I've been saying that for months now, but I, fi- I finally think that it might be getting sorted too. Yeah, so the first thing that Football Ventures, if they do take it over, the first thing they're going to do is sort out everybody's wages, these yeah. order, and well, just I think get everybody's yeah, hand off. I think they have to pay the football creditors first and the players are one. I don't, I don't know why we have football creditors. No, yeah, you, you'll be the priority. So it, when any business goes under like this then if you owe any wages out the, yeah. old, the wages get paid first yeah, and then yeah. it moves on to what well, Ken's one as well they were kind of debt why would he be owed anything though it's like just obviously been taking it all out yeah, the guy's I mean, a bell end isn't he you, you agree though don't you yeah I do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got nobody maybe they're, they're alright to, to, to our faces though I mean Lee's son I mean the cuddle here and all that back to the games if, when you won they were fine to you but and did nobody have any idea, like at the beginning, what was going on? I was, you always like, this is a bit dodgy, like where's um, the money going? Um, not, not at the start, no. He was because we, we'd get rang and say, the manager would ring me or Andrew Taylor, one of the other older lads, and he'd just say, oh, the wages won't be in, in the morning, but they'll be in later on the on the day. But I just thinking that's a bit weird. Why, if it can be on the night, why is it not? Yeah. So that 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 was the first bit when we were getting paid a bit late. But then what one. One time, everyone got paid apart from me and me and another lad, Sammy Amiobi. So Mrs. She was driving. Uh, I was driving. She was next to me. She was looking at the thing. She said, "Were you supposed to be paid today?" I said, "Oh yeah." And I knew what she was hinting at that we hadn't been. <laughs> I said, "Oh, uh, right." So we, we got to where we were going to go. And I, te- I texted. I said, "Everyone being paid?" She said, "Yep, yep, yep, yep." And then one lad, no. Nope. So I was thinking, well, why is that then? So I, I, te- I texted the uh, secretary, and he just said, "We'll sort it out." And then so two of us got paid late. And then it just started to unfold. So, so there must be just picking and choosing who, who, who to pay and not. And that. But and you, you weren't one of them. Even yeah, I don't know why. But even before when lads weren't playing, he wasn't paying them because he said, "Well, why? Why should I be pl- paying players that aren't aren't playing?" But he's an idiot. He's a contract. Then. He's had a contract. Sure, he doesn't have a choice in that. He should be. Oh. <laughs> He is. He's oh. just. He must be. There must be something wrong with him, like literally narcissist. in his head. That was our yeah. first first yeah. time we ever made a stand up. <laughs> you remember Chris Taylor? Yeah. I think it was two pre seasons ago. Or something. He he was the only one who didn't get paid. So we said, right, we're not going. We're not. We're not going out. It was pre season. We done a morning session and he's still not being paid. So we said, we're not, <coughs> we're not going out and, unless he gets paid because one lad out of yeah. twenty five who's not being paid for. He must have chosen him. Because he, he'd been on loan this, this season before, so he, he hadn't played for us. So I think that was he just des- decided not to pay him. So he said, "Well, I won't." The guy is like back with yeah. it. I, I think there is like oh, yeah, he would if he got like psychoanalyzed. Yeah. Someone, what they call, is it a sociopath? Yeah. Is that the right word? Yeah, yeah sociopath. People call him yeah. that. I don't know what it means. I had to Google it one time. Yeah, it's it just like yeah, where, like a psychopath is obviously like oh they're a psychopath or a sociopath. They say they live amongst us, yeah. but like they, they don't have any emotional Emot- feelings. Yeah, like, that was it, there's yeah. just no emotions yeah. whatsoever. It goes hand in it's hand an actual thing. Narcissist, yeah. isn't it? It like, is an actual thing, and that's clearly. It said Google sociopath, and that is him. Yeah. I did. That's what you. Happy as well. Yeah, that would be why it's it, all this, like, oh, give you an hug after the game is just an act. He won't actually yeah. feel happy, he won't feel sad. Yeah. It, I mean, in other words, just bell end full of yeah, sufficient. Yeah. <laughs> Encompasses yeah. it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good job he's not involved in the club anymore, is he? I'm trouble. <laughs> it's all right. You John, definitely so wouldn't have a game invaded yeah. again. John oh. didn't sit on the fence last week, did he? So yeah, he no, so. He never does, no. does he? So yeah, don't worry about that. So, who would you then, so let's say this, if we're going forward now and we're going to be positive and 
Yeah. At least we're going to stay in the league that we're in. Right. That that is our. That's end. what we're doing. We're staying in the league. We're staying. Right. <laughs> Shall I come and be the manager? Yeah. Right, David. This is going to I'll pay his wages. You might have to. <laughs> I can play, you know, though. <laughs> yeah, you might have to. Though. <laughs> we'll get on, I'm a striker. Um, so then, who would you, ideally, if you can pick now three players mm-hmm. who uh, have played for Bolton at some right. point, past or present, yeah. which three players would you be like, right, I need these for the foundation? All in their prime. In their prime. Oh, right. Uh, I see it with John could be up there, couldn't he? Yeah. We need yes. him. Yeah. Um, Super I think Kevin Nolan, I think the fans like yeah. him, didn't they? He was on my shirt. Yeah. Yeah, really? before. I'm not going to say JJ, a So good for him. I know. Nice. He might not be a legal <laughs> player. We named our dog might. after him, JJ. <laughs> She'd actually died a couple of years ago. No, that's not good. Christmas yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Stuart Holden, maybe. Yeah. Because he's, he's a good character. Just who we're going for. So Stuart, Stuart Holden, Kevin, Kevin Nolan, Nolan and John. And Super John. John yeah. And yourself. Oh, myself, yeah, I'd be there. I'd be there yeah. That would be your foundation yeah. for the team. That'd make a good, that's a good team. That's a good spine of the team, that. Yeah. yeah. I'd be happy with that. So well, we need to find people who are like that then, don't we? Who have that yeah. skill quality. <laughs> Do you know any good Sunday league clubs? Not Is that much, picking not, them off from people in There's not much skill in them for a, a <laughs> team, though, is there, really? To be honest. Football skills, yeah. you would do that. Yeah. We just... Uh, just get stuck yeah, in. Yeah, we'll get stuck in. I like how you're like, oh, pick them yeah. for the fans. And yeah. I'll pick him because he's a good character. We'll be fan favourites. That's what we'd be. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need at the minute. Yeah, I mean, that is definitely what they need. That is what you need, yeah. Yeah, because then, and then if everybody's like all behind you, I think though your first game, hopefully next season, the fans are going to be a bit like shaky at the beginning, but you're mm. going to have someone who are just like, right, let's just get behind them. I think they'll be good, you know, after the, obviously they know everything's yeah. gone on and, and some of the lads are still going out there and trying to perform, I think they'll be... If they can just have, I think that's it, if you can just have an half-decent season, you're going to win yeah. them back off. Yeah. I do wonder, though, if, there are, if there's going to be the same amount of, like, I'm still going to buy a season ticket now. I'm sure there will. It doesn't mean any sales, have there? Like, there's I, been nothing. nothing. Nothing's been no. happening. Like. Nothing See, that's why it needs to get sorted. I think there's no pre-season friendly sorted or anything. Season tickets are not being sold, so... It needs to it's just nuts, isn't they it? They just need to hurry up this takeover and then hopefully everything... Because haven't they offered oh, a one million injection straight away as well? I'm I sure think they've already paid like some for, I don't know what for, like, but I think they've definitely put money in Done something. something yeah. yeah. They sign the heads of terms that normally then you're pretty much. It feels like something's happening rather than before when you've just heard yeah. rumours and you're like, mm, there's nothing in that. It yeah, they're probably like, just finalising yeah. things with that. But the thing is, yeah. other teams like Man City, they always get, always get billionaires from the Middle East and all that, don't they? We get <laughs> Ken. <laughs> we get Ken. Is it Ken and that Bassini guy? I was going to say, just be grateful Bassini got kicked out. Oh, he rang me a few times. <gasps> Did you answer? Yeah, <laughs> first time. I think he rang uh, Andrew Taylor first. Oh, no. And he was saying, oh, he's all right, him. The first time he rang him, but yeah. the second time he, he, he texted us, text us all, he said, mental, he's a mental guy. But then I answered, he, he rang me and I answered it. And I don't know why, because I, I hardly ever answer my phone when it's ringing. I'll just text them back saying, yeah, I'm, I'm busy or something. So. <laughs> just watch it ring. He's got me out. Yeah. But he, he was talking stuff. He was saying he, he was going to play. He was going to get on the pitch. He was going to sit next to the manager and that. And I was thinking, wow, what's, what's this guy going on? That's not what you need from a he's, from an owner, is it? He went on Sky Sports with his shirt, though. Oh, yeah, he's a fan because he's got a shirt, isn't it? <laughs> After he, getting kicked out of Watford. Is he just a full nutter, then? Yeah. And so what's he, he looked like he was on summit, didn't he? When he was on that thing, yeah. he, he it wasn't really, like keep his eyes out. He was sweating and like just not normal. Yeah, I've not seen that. I'm a fan. Yeah, I've I'm a fan yeah. Christ, it's yeah. just like and that's who these are the people who are winning. Exactly. Football. Do you know like when players sign for a new club and they're pictured with yeah. the shirt, like mm-hmm. which is not like that, fine, right? but like that's what he did on Sky Sports. Like <laughs> you don't own the club. What are you doing? He didn't. He could come in the uh, change room with his club suit on, talking to us. Saying we're gonna have a right good go and all that and but and like even, even these little bits of things though as a player you must be like what, like what the fuck you you losing respects like for the yeah. for the club not the fans on the rest of it but just like for the runnings of the mm. club you're just like is this some kind of door like you're not gonna get that at United that, no. that is that no, is no, not no. gonna be happening is it so you must be like as a player like what the hell but even when Ken came in he he did that and he come in the change room and he, he like spoke to us he give off that he was 
a good businessman. He like, I mean, he looked, he talked well and that, but this Bassini guy, he just, no, he, he didn't, he didn't give up anything. He was like a, it was, it was like that. Just a wreck. Yeah, he was. Oh, was there? Yeah. Thank God, yeah. But I think he, he still tried to buy the club, didn't he? <laughs> I, I think he's probably still trying now. He probably is, yeah. yeah. Probably why did why did he not? Because people just went. Well, he didn't. He didn't turn yeah. up for his. Uh, didn't he have a he had a meeting in London to prove his. Um, oh yeah. All his things, and he didn't. He didn't bring anything. He didn't bring any any form. Do you think he was just like making it up? He could be, yeah. What is that? A fantasist? Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Right, right. He could be one of them. Because he got chucked out of Watford and then he's been like bankrupt twice. And, and he liquidated five companies as well or something? And then, yeah, and then um, he thought he was going to pass the fit and proper test to then own another club. And he just didn't. <laughs> but then the same thing happened with Ken Anderson, though, that's yeah. what we were saying. Like, he, he'd actually, well, who was it who he'd done it with eight years ago? And he got kicked out of a club. Was it not Southampton? Uh, yeah. Was it Southampton? Yeah. yeah. And so I, he passed it again, but. Yeah. It, I think Ken could talk the talk a bit better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> then they are done. Mm. Oh, look, we attract how the weirdos. Yeah. That is boring in general. <laughs> I think that is that not been part of the problem with Ken, do you think? Do you know, because he is a businessman and he is at the end of the yeah. day. But that's all he is. But you wouldn't do that to a business. What he has done, I mean, I run businesses and you just don't take all of your money oh, yeah, out of your no. business because you're going to be left with nothing. Yeah. So he isn't a businessman, he's, he's a con man. But he's a con man, yeah. And he also just doesn't care about the game. Mm. Like, oh, no. I was saying this to Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't care about Obviously, he doesn't give a shit because he's just pissed off to Monaco. Yeah. But he doesn't, that is not how you run a business, what he mm. was doing. You have to chuck an investment in, it'll stay for so long, and you'll look at the long term goal. This is when we're setting it for. It's going to cost this much, and you set it all. And all he did was bought the club I don't know if and he then took everything out of it. I don't know if he's put any money in. Didn't he like put a pound in or something? I think so. I think yeah. he bought the shares for a pound or something. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, I could have done that. I and then just, and then just took out the We didn't come in. I was speaking to the girls at the hotel who run the, uh, not the arena, but it's the, where they do the boxing. Oh, uh, yeah. Prim- is it Premier Suite? Yeah. 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 They had two big boxing events on at the weekend. And she said, all the money's gone. At the, at the full two night Friday and Saturday, she said, the money. He took it. I think so. Because yeah. they just had Rod Stewart as well, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. It was before that, so yeah. yeah, God knows where all that money's gone. I'm sure, Rod's took a few. Yeah. You didn't you go? No, you I didn't. Dad went, didn't yeah, you? my mum went. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did Josh get them tickets? Did you get them uh, tickets? No, I think Dan. Oh, I Edmo, Edmo got them tickets. Everybody's getting shouts out on podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well. Um, get, get money, I'll just talk about Village on the Green one. Yeah, I know he loves that. Yeah. He's, he's super Chase, passionate about his dad's club. Just get me down all the time. <laughs> okay, I got a game done. Yeah, I've, I've been there a couple of times. Yeah, time. I went once for a, it was like a charity. I don't know if it was a charity event, but it was like the uh, Andy Cole was on the Man United player, and, oh, right, yeah. and that impressionist. It was, it was quite. It was at the end of the season. I think we just stayed up. I got promoted, so I was a bit. I was a bit tipsy and he was shouting, Dan was shouting at me. Oh, was it? Yeah. He goes, well, people are paying for this job. Oh, what was you then? <laughs> they like sensible. Oh, was it? Yeah, he wanted me to act sensible, but okay. I was I was still buzzing off there. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. I have a promotion off staying off. It was one of them too, so. When I seen you in London, you were buzzing then as well, weren't you, in your Christmas day? Oh, Christmas day with that, wasn't it? <laughs> I think when I seen you, I knew, uh, I knew Josh was out, your brother. And it, that, that time was about, we were just leaving Winter Wonderland and then in the middle of going to the nightclub, so everyone was here and then getting ready and that stuff so I'll text him and I'll, just, I'll go straight out and me, me silk well one silk it was like <laughs> plastic on it a cheap yeah. plastic Christmas suit we found Santa Claus all over it yeah. right there <laughs> throwing out attention yeah my dad was like, saying yeah. before my dad was so excited to, to see you um right another question I want to ask you is I, I asked you in your quick fire range there and you said staying up was was better yeah, the feeling was, yeah. For, for the promotion. Think, yeah, because when we got promoted, I think everyone expected us to get promoted. And we should have done it about three weeks earlier, shouldn't we? But we kept drawing yeah. and... Well, that last, it's Bolton way, though. Isn't it? <laughs> just, yeah, we just took it to the last, last minute. But when we stayed up, it, we went 2-1 down, I think in the 85th or 86th minute. And then, then I scored, and then Wilbraham scored. Well, what's, just, I mean, what can you describe what that is like? Because obviously none of us will ever understand. Oh, if you if you play Sunday League, you still don't understand what that is like at your level yeah. when you're two one down, mm. and then you score, and then your mate scores as well. well the thing is, we never really scored three goals. <laughs> did we in a game? So when we went two one down, we think, ah, oh, no. Did yeah. Did you feel like that then? Was you a bit like, oh fuck? 
I did in that game for some reason. I don't know why, but I, I, I went up front because I'm a defender and I didn't even ask the manager. I just I just went and then I scored and I stayed up and then he scored again. But for me, I was I was out of a contract again. But if we stayed up, I got another year and we just enrolled my kid and my daughter in school as well. So, so he was out of contract. We need to keep getting your kids so, enrolled, Mercy, <laughs> then you can start scoring more goals. <laughs> but I could see all my family and, and I had a... I had a one of my good mates from back in Millsby, he plays for Blackburn. I won't mention his name, but he was at the Bolton game. He said he was crying because oh, of, really? of the the emotion. I think it was in the in the stadium. It was just oh, it was fantastic. Yeah. yeah, it was brilliant. I never thought that day that I'd be supporting Preston either, because obviously know, yeah. like they needed to cling down. Well, that's they? the thing. We we won. And we we all started celebrating, didn't we? But we didn't even know the results of the. Yeah. Well, we on the pitch we didn't know the results of the other game, so we were just guessing that we we stayed up. So, yeah, it was a series of fortunate events. That was, that, uh, for oh, that was a cracking day. We all, I think we all went to Fannies. Yeah, no, yeah. I think yeah. I, I think I was pregnant then. Um, was I, what, was this last one or the one before? Uh, I was either in The Apprentice or pregnant. Yeah, I can't yeah, remember it was the last, season. Last, last year, wasn't it? Last, yeah, it'll be last it was year. Like, I'm just trying, yeah, you yeah, it was last year, yeah, so I was pregnant, so I heard you all. Oh, yeah, you would have, yeah. It was just going on for COVID. When we got promoted, we, yeah, we went so there. Yeah, so the year before when you went there and you was promoted, I, w I was in film in The Apprentice. Mm. Oh, I had to go and do some bits about it or something, and then I'd seen it, and everybody's all celebrating, and I'm going to send loads of videos. I'm like, fuck, say, no, I miss it two yeah. years, I've been. And then the year finally I could go and we just do... Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the show we know celebrating had for me with regards to Bolton Wanderers. It was class though. So with all the fans at, a, a, at the pub, it was just it was brilliant. Yeah, I think that is the place to go in it when Bolton Wanderers. Yeah. Um, when Bolton Wanderers yeah. do well. So then, what would your future plans be? I know we, t we touch on it slightly. So yeah, obviously you can't play football forever. Do you have? And I know you said you tried this coaching thing. But yeah. Why? I don't know. It was, it was just hard. I mean, everyone s says it's the easiest thing for us to do, isn't it? I suppose it is, but we have to go through. I, I don't see why we we have to go through all the um, courses and all that. I think because we've done it for so long, we should just go straight into it. But it's yeah, like off experience. Yeah, but it is hard though. It's when you start doing it, it's, it's weird. He, he, I was talking to the lads on the pitch like I was stood next to him. Yeah. But he says you can't you can't speak to him like that. You have to speak like you're a manager, and you you're you've got the authority and that. But it was just hard because I was doing it with the under 18s at Bolton, so I knew them all. So it was hard, hard for me to change from being a, like a friend to to like a coach. So yeah, was, to separate. Yeah, but that was hard. So I don't, I don't know. I didn't really enjoy it, but they said the more you do it, the more you get used to it. So you, why are you just going to keep practicing? At that um, point? I'll try. Yeah, I mean, last year, we had two sessions to go last season. And we we would have got our level two. I mean, it's not high, but it's obviously the start of it. But with everything that was going on, we just we couldn't be bothered. We didn't want to be. Cause we did it at the training ground we just didn't want to be hanging about no more yeah because we, we do train and then we get in the changing room and then everyone be talking about what's going on again and we're like, oh, that's, that's just, it it must just, just, just be home. really negative like yeah. but I'll, I'll, I'll probably start doing it again try and finish it but i want to be a dog walker but my missus won't let me why i don't know because she says don't pick up the poo <laughs> oh well i mean yeah that is a good reason to not be <laughs> a dog I'm pretty my, sure it's illegal. I told my dogs to do it in the bush. <laughs> yeah. So they always go in the bushes to do it. So it's, it's all right. Although somebody was saying, I think I was talking to my dad about this, and he's like, actually, it's better to just leave the mess because it'll just decompose or whatever. Yes. It, it goes away, doesn't it? But if you pick it up in these plastic bags, then it can't actually ever be oh, recycled or anything. It, it just doesn't. You should go and get on the trees and stuff, don't Yeah, really no, it just ends up like in a landfill yeah, anyway. Exactly. So yeah. it's, surely it's better to just leave it in its natural yeah, habitat. Yeah, some fox or something will come eat it, won't it? Yeah, and then a kid will slip in it, will get rubbed in. Yeah, I'm for I'll think that now. Yeah. That's my excuse. So we really, we're doing good for the environment. Okay. Exactly. Right? Not okay. thinking. So you yeah. can, that could be your niche, your selling point. I'll walk your dogs and I'll, <laughs> yeah. and I'll save the environment. It's environmentally friendly. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Environmentally friendly dog walks. Yeah, I mean, but it must be hard for footballers when you're like, especially when you come into the end of it thinking, oh, shit, like, what am I going to do? Yeah. Uh, and then a lot of footballers might not necessarily have had the best education as well. Yeah. It's like yourself, you go straight into football. Yeah. So, like, you don't have any, you've got nothing to fall back on. You don't yeah. have a career in anything else. You can't just walk in and have a telesales job. I know. Well, lots of sportsmen go go broke on after a after, when they're finished because they're used to the spend. As yeah, well. and they haven't saved. But we have, to be honest, we we've, we've saved. We're good saver. We we almost like save too much. We don't put put enough money in our spends every month because it all goes into savings. But 
My parents be that way though. My parents be a little bit paranoid about it. Because you, especially you don't know when it's going to be over. Either. It could be three years. It could be four. Exactly. You don't know yeah. how much. To but I used to spend loads. Like Christ, when first came in the Premiership, I just got Harvey Nichols every day or Selfridges and that. Yeah. I mean, this is the last proper watch I bought this. I got this from about twelve years ago. Oh so, really? Yeah. So you've been being sensible since then. Yeah. You have to, and so I then, would you, you not like it. consider something like going into property or? We've got yeah, we've got a few places actually. We've a few places rented out that's that's one of the things me uh finance advisor said getting the property yeah. you, you won't go wrong so we got we got a few of them up we're trying to look into a few places like like the lakes or it's called whitby back at home it's like a little seaside resort and oh, yeah, no, we're, looking, we're looking at them and you, yeah because then at least you've got like some get paid. we just want to get paid now so <laughs> at least you know the, the, you're definitely going to get paid at some point it's just annoying for you, at least if you've got that bit of money to live off, it's the young yeah. ones, like you're saying, they can't oh, afford, yeah. it's playing for Bolton Ranchers and they can't afford this train, exactly, but yeah. it's tight, isn't it, that? Know. Yeah, I'm going from. And um, another hot subject from the fans was um, WrestleMania. Oh, and, yeah. and your obsession with this. Would you not consider being a wrestler after football? I'd love to, yeah, but it, honestly, it, it, it's painful, you know. It's like, the rings are like this, people think it's like a uh, sponge and that. Oh, so have you had to do it then? No, I've... Uh, I went to one in Manchester the other day. One of my friends, he's, he's the manager at Smith's, but he's mates with the wrestlers, a couple of the local ones. I went in the ring after, and he, he, he was like, the wrestler was, he was like running about, doing all these moves, and then he came back out to walk to it. He was just like, he couldn't walk. It was like limping and all that. I said, what, what's up with you? He said, oh, I jumped off the top rope and just landed on my knees, on, on like this. Oh, no. But, do they have not have springs? I always thought they looked yeah, a bit bouncy. That's, that's what everyone everyone mm -hmm. thinks, but it's not. It's all metal, metal like poles and that to keep it up, and then it's just solid wood like this. Oh my god, yes, it must go. Because uh, I got in the ring, I was like, Jesus Christ. Because I, I I've always wanted to like jump on it like a wrestler on your back, but I, I just didn't want to. Honestly, it was <laughs> <Yeah>. solid. <laughs> yeah, but WrestleMania, I think that's my when, once I retire, that's my first port of call. What? WrestleMania. <laughs> the, the whole the whole week. Like they do like five shows and then the rest will make like the big show on the on Oh Sunday. right, okay. So I used to watch when I was little but it was like WWF then. So yeah. I watched it in the days of Hulk Hogan and yeah. Ultimate Warrior. World Wildlife Fund took that name, didn't it? The WWF, the World Wildlife Fund. Is that where it's changed? Yeah, it's WWE. WWE. Yeah. Is it still WWE? WWE, yeah. Or do you know anything about it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, because yeah. It, but then it was like two different ones it used to be, didn't it? So what was it called? Was it Ric Flair who was like the head of WWE the, or something? He was, he was like WCW. Oh, WCW. Yeah, that's and then it. WWF at that time, yeah. And then they changed it to That's when I started watching it, yeah. When you started? When, like, I started watching it like about 94. My dad got me into it. Because we, we didn't have Sky back in, back in the day, but he worked offshore. And they had Sky on the oil rig, so he, he taped a few. Oh, it was right. WrestleMania 94, he taped. All right. Then, that was it. Yeah, so that will have been there, but oh no, it might. Yeah, it will have been there. All Colgan still would have been there, didn't he? He was. He, I think he just gone to WCW then. All right. Yeah, okay. Just, just. But yeah, you're still bit in the Undertaker, you know, when he used to walk on that. Yeah. So I have two brothers still as well. In is he still in there? Still in there. I, I, I've not. He watched this for years. It was like I would have stopped watching it around like '96. But I've got two older brothers, Lee John and Ben, and they'd be. Lee John was always the Undertaker. Mm. Our Ben was um, the British Bulldog. Oh yeah. And I'd be Hulk Hogan. Yeah. And, and then my brothers were like, they weren't me the girl wrestlers back then. And then um, our Lee John would walk on the side of the bed, <laughs> yeah. and then like me and him, ben, ben would come over and like do all these wrestling moves. And, oh, but there was this as well. You know when they have the jewels. Oh my God, he'll. Come with saying this, you know, when you have the tag teams, yeah. So, me and Ben would be uh, the Bushwhacker Brothers, do you oh, remember? Yeah, the, them ones. yeah, and um, <laughs> Lee John, his name is Lee John, would be the Lee John of Doom. You, do you remember the Lee John yeah. of Doom? So, me and Ben would be like tagging each other in, and be all the Lee John of Doom. <laughs> See, it's classy, it brings joy to everyone. Oh, no, uh, yeah, I mean, it was low, but it was always one of them like you'd knock 10 bells at shit out of each other, mm. and somebody would start crying, oh, would yeah. lose the plot. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one time I'd wrestling with my sister and she banged her head off like the side of the cupboard I was like oh no and then my mates would come around I'd be choked somewhere on the bed yeah. but we went through the bed one time <laughs> he's went poof straight through I was like oh no it I'm is just it is dad. so much fun though as a kid when you have like siblings because it's mm. the only thing that you can do where you can get out your aggression oh, it is, yeah. in a manner where you can't get bollocks off your parents I'm trying to get me uh, my kids into it now yeah so, uh, the next generation. My, my son just has no interest in it. Yeah. He's just, he doesn't like football either. Like everything I liked as a kid, he just likes rugby, that's mm. it. He just only, he, he's not even into computer games, just, we have nothing in common. <laughs> he just likes, <laughs> he's like, he just likes rugby and I know nothing about yeah. rugby. 
but I guess still. That's rugby. I've never got in. That's the only one of the things I've never got into. Really. Yeah, he loves watched. it. He's a, he's a big lad. Well, he's, his dad's from Wigan. Oh, so, right. and it, it is, so his dad likes rugby, and I think some of his family played professional rugby. But his dad, Harrison's really big. He's, he's yeah. like in year four, but he's bigger than the year sixes, yeah. and he's just built for rugby like it's his ideal sport. Mm. So I think it's just one of them. His dad takes him all the time, so you just end up loving it, don't you? Yeah, you do. So that's it. But yeah, no, I mean, I wouldn't wrestle him, though. My son would probably <laughs> not be <laughs> 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 I've lost all my techers, mate. <laughs> You'd have to come round and show him oh, yeah. some, <laughs> some news. I'll come round and choke some your son. <laughs> Harrison, this is David. He's going to um, show you the choke just, He's just going to choke some. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be alarmed. <laughs> yeah, so maybe you could do something in wrestling then. I'll be like a commentator. I'd love to. You know, I think I'm a bit, I'm a bit old to get into it now. Yeah. Are you though? I mean, who's, who's, who's the rest of the world? Undertaker's still doing it. Anyway, he's, he's, I think he's about 56, 57 now. Christ. But uh, yeah, I think I think you need. It's like football. I think you need to get into it young. But yeah. Yeah. But that's like all the old wrestlers when they were allowed uh, all the drugs and that. That's most of them are dead now, aren't they? From like, yeah. Attacks, who was it? Because it got Brett the Hitman Hart. Actually, it wasn't was. It? Well, he's, no, he, he's the only one in their family that's alive. Oh, was it? One British, of them British died. British Bulldog died. British, but yeah, he died. Was he about forty? Yeah, because he all got hooked on painkillers. Because I think the tra- they don't like the travelling because they nearly do it every day, and then obviously landed on the on the mat on the back and all that. I just would not have thought that it was it like hurt yeah. them landing on that. Well, I didn't. But then one time I thought if if it just springs, I, I was these big fellas landing on it and not going through it. If it's just springs, I thought it must yeah. be something. But then. Right, I watched this guy put his, put his ring together and it was honestly it was just metal bars and then and solid wood. I see what mm-hmm. remember the little gym, the blue gym yeah. mats in school. It was <laughs> probably half of the size of that. That was the only padding. Really? Like, imagine land. They, but they, they, they like a tart out to land, though, aren't they? So yeah, I think you have to land on your shoulders a bit. But by, I mean, some of them. Yeah, I mean it's go still going to rag though. You're doing oh, that yeah. for a living, like constantly throwing yourself yeah. about places. But they all—they all, they all get like operations on the necks and that for landing on the back. But it does look fake though. I mean, when they do clothesline and that, they don't really. And you, you see them punch each other. No, it oh. is though because they'll go like this. They'll punch, but they won't actually hit them, and then they stamp their foot at the same time. It's, like, en- it's entertaining, isn't it? Yeah. No, I mean it is. A, I, <laughs> as you can tell, David, I like wrestling. Like, oh, yeah. I did once. I'm not. I'm not really with it anymore. I don't know if they. But we had that old sticker book. Yeah, I don't records. watch it as much. Pepper Pigs and all that's on the TV yeah, now, isn't it? Yeah, so. that. <laughs> no, stop, oh, Blaze. Blaze and the Monster Machines are like... Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just annoying. It gets in the way of me wrestling. I've seen every single Pepper Pig episode ever. Oh, yeah. It gets in the way of my wrestling. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> right, David. Well, do you um, want to tell us... Um, do you want to say anything to the fans about... To, to wrap this up now, about the backing that we need from them for going into next season, what you'd like to see from them, anything that they can do to help the club? Uh, I don't think I need you, to be honest. I know they always have been there, even when they complain sometimes on the yeah. on the internet and that. They still come to the games and support us. But like I said to you before, I know 95% are on our team, on, our, on the players' side. <coughs> you're, you're always going to get someone, aren't you, that is, is not happy, but... We'll go, we'll still go out there, and I know the fans will, will come and support us anyway. And as long as I'm around here, I'm sure the fans will be good to me as well, like they always have been. Good stuff, David. Good stuff. Honestly, thank you so much. No, it's for not, taking no the time.